She was picking up two heartbeats. What are we gonna do with two babies? Supposedly anything over 150. Okay, this is the weirdest angle because my house has horrible natural lighting. No, it does not. It does. No, it doesn't. It doesn't have many options. It has good natural lighting, just not many options on angles. Okay, so I just got back from the doctor's appointment, which took way too long. I don't know what was going on. Apparently, I have the worst luck when it comes to doctor's appointment. Apparently, there was a technical issue, and they didn't think I was there, even though I was checked in early. So, it was, what, 30 minutes? minutes? No, 30 minutes before they called me back, finally, because I went up there. I want to say 45, because your appointment was at 9.45, and you didn't go in until 10.30. Oh, that's true. So I was like texting four, him, updating him, because Eric stayed home today. Here. Well... Look, it, it's my day off. I guess like I didn't want to do this without him. I mean, obviously I went without him, but we got um, the heartbeat and I was able to get it on, well, not on film. Um, I can't film in the doctor's office, but I did ask her if I could just turn it on. So I have it like faced upwards um, so we can hear it. And then she went over some concerns that I had, which I think will help a lot of you pregnant mamas out there because some of you have had the same concerns. Oh, she was picking up two heartbeats at first. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. And then she... For those of you who don't know, twins do run on both my side and her side of the family. So she was like, okay, there it is. And then all of a sudden there's like a second heartbeat. And she's like, um. And I was like, uh. And then she goes, oh no, that one's yours. And I was like, How are they picking uh, up your heartbeat I don't know. that far down? And my heartbeat was strong. I think it was just like... I guess the anxiety of like waiting and then I knew I had to go to the grocery store afterwards and just like a lot in my mind. Maybe my heartbeat was beating like, like pounding harder than normal. But yeah, it was, it, you can hear it on here. There, it's minds overlapping the babies. It's really Are we weird. certain that it's yours? She said it was mine. What are we going to do with two babies? You mean three? Oh yeah, well, she's like a toddler. She can like take care of herself. <laughs> well, we're, we're... Is that your phone? Rudely interrupted. Yours and babies. Oh, there we go. Fades in and out. There we go. Okay. I don't know if it's going to give us a signal, though. Oh, yeah. 150s. Good. Sounds good. Yay! Okay, so... Healthy baby. Health, yeah. So she said that um, the, position, <laughs> the positioning of my uterus is perfect. It's where it's supposed to be, um, which means the baby's growing because she didn't do the ultrasound. Um, they won't do an ultrasound normally if you are high risk. Um, if it's a normal pregnancy, they'll just do the Doppler unless they can't find the heartbeat like last time when she was having troubles with it and then um, or something just fills off. So that's not a concern that they didn't pull out the whole ultrasound and do imaging. She kind of knew the position where the baby would be at. So she was able to find that perfectly. Like I said, it was just mine was coming through, which was like weird. She's like, uh, there's two. And I was like, oh, uh, no. <laughs> and so she like tried again. And that's when she's like, yeah, I'm hearing yours. OK, so remember how I said I've been feeling cramping? Mm -hmm. So the cramping, she said, is normal, especially with your second child. I guess it's more likely that you're going to get cramping just because your body is technically in a different position this time um, than because it's not the first time it's been through this. Right. Um, and you figured you'd get more cramping on the first time First around. one, yeah. And so I think it's just because yeah. like your organs and everything moves um, when right. you have your first one. And then it takes about two to three years for everything to go back to normal. So it could just be like... I, I your body's be like, like, oh, we're doing this again. Yeah, <laughs> it wouldn't be scar tissue or anything, but it's just kind of like everything's trying to readjust and then all of a sudden you're like expanding it again. It's like, oh, okay. But she said that unless it's like a rhythmic pattern to where it's happening like every five to 10 minutes, it's not a concern, it's normal. I like, did. Like contractions almost? Like, Basically, like it's, yeah. Uh, um, or if there's anything in my back, which I have... What I'm feeling is normal to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, you just yeah. Have, I have, have back, back issues. Pain. I did tell her the concerns of the last prenatal massage I had. He was pushing on my back, and then cramping started again right afterwards. But she said it might have been normal due to just the extra pressure. But she does recommend the next time if I do go in because they're they're not bad. You can get prenatal massages. Um, just let them know like. 
hey, I'm pregnant, like don't push on these areas. She did mention if it does become rhythmic and you call the ER. So if anybody is filling these cramps while you're pregnant and you're concerned, basically the ER is just gonna tell you to rest drink some water and get some food in your system um, and then call them back if it keeps going, unless you're just like in crucial pain. So if it's just slightly concerning, just make sure you do those three steps first and then it should stop. She said, especially as like moms, you know, we're chasing a toddler, we're just out doing things, we forget to take care of ourselves. And so the cramping is kind of like my reminder to be like, hey, you need to take care of yourself. So that's what she said. It's basically well, just- Well, that makes sense because there was a time where like you were feeling lightheaded and you need oh, to sit yeah. down and, and eat and have something to drink and then afterwards you felt fine. I felt fine, yeah. So it's basically just like my body reminding me like I'm pregnant, so. <laughs> oh yeah, so the nurse came back in to do my appointments and um, she was like, the midwife said you were so nice and if that was her, she would have been pissed. <laughs> and was, Why? Because I was just so calm about like basically being forgotten for an hour. Oh, well. And I was like, I, I don't know. We are in customer service. That's we, what I we, told her. We, we, I was like, I worked retail, so it changes yeah. people. <laughs> if you guys ever want to increase your patience. Work retail. Like, work oh retail. My God, Nothing yeah. tests your patience more than retail. Like, more than kids. <laughs> like, kids, yeah, will push it, like, you. But prepares they're, they're, you they're, for they're children. your kids. <laughs> they're your kids, right? So it's completely different. When you have to deal with other people, and you can't react the way that you naturally want to react, because it's your job on the line. Yeah. Yeah, you have no choice. I was just kind of like, but to work it's on your fine. patients. Yeah. Um, and then I, I laughed and I was like, my husband has my daughter. This is like a vacation for me. <laughs> so she started laughing. Yeah, you're like peace and quiet. You're like, hmm. yeah. I was just like, hmm. <laughs> oh, um, so my weight, I'm at 151. So I've gained about 13 pounds already, which with Aria, I gained a total of 15 pounds, but I was considered overweight when I got pregnant with her because I was, what, one, like 60, I was almost 170 when I got pregnant with Aria. So I was put on a restricted weight gain since I was technically for my height overweight. It was like in between 135 and 137. Um, so yeah, I was way like less than when I got pregnant with Aria. So I'm not under any type of weight constrictions or is that the right word? Constrictions, right? Constrictions? Yeah. Why is that like a weird word to me? Anyway, so she just wants to make sure I'm eating healthy. And then I did get approved for the Baby Boosters um, prenatal protein, especially because I'm low on iron. Um, so I have an, I'm anemic, I have an iron deficiency. And so I'm taking my iron supplements, I'm taking my prenatals, but it's still not enough. Um, and since I'm still breastfeeding, she does want me to supplement more. And so she said that's perfect, especially if I can't consume more food. So I will link it down below since it's, one, it's approved by OBGYNs, and then I gave her the list of ingredients, and she said it was fine. So she actually wrote down the brand so she could recommend it to more patients, too. So I thought that was pretty cool. Okay. Um, and so I got it on Amazon, so I can link everything down below if you guys are looking for a protein um, that is okay for pregnancy. But you do have to be in your second trimester to start taking it, um, unless your doctor says anything else so that's all but i hope you like this little update this is going to be uploaded after thanksgiving but i hope you guys had a fantastic thanksgiving it's two days before for us um let me know in the comments below what you guys did and how far along you are in your pregnancy and um if you think we're having multiple children <laughs> i think we're just having the one they would have seen another body in there on the ultrasound i don't know maybe they're huddling um, together for one for oh i also think it's a girl again i because the heart it was 153 154 and that was the same as Arya. <laughs> he just wants his boy. <laughs> well, you're also like, it's a boy, it's a girl, it's a I boy, know. it's a girl. But the heartbeat was kind of like, oh, because the first time when it was over 150, I was like, that's super high. That just seems odd. But yeah, it's 153, 154. And supposedly anything over 150 shows signs of it being a girl. And then if it's under 150. So I'm like right on the line though. So, but yeah. He's just really excited. He's just really excited. <laughs> but He's um... excited to meet his best friend for life. <laughs> Me. Um, okay, but <laughs> based off the heart rate, let me know what you think I'm having. And we hopefully will find out in a month or sooner. I'm so excited to find out the gender. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, we love you, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.